Devri Hayamim Shani, 2 Chronicles 25. Amatz Yahu was twenty and five years old when he began to reign, and he reigned twenty and nine years in Yerushalayim. And his mother's name was Yahu Adin of Yerushalayim. And he did that which was right in the sight of Yahuwah, but not with a perfect heart. Now it came to pass, when the kingdom was established to him, that he slew Eth his servants that had killed Eth the king his father. But he slew not Eth their children, but did as it is written in the Torah, in the Sefer of Moshe, where Yahuwah commanded, saying, The fathers shall not die for the children, neither shall the children die for the fathers. But every man shall die for his own sin. Moreover, Amatz Yahu gathered at Yahuda together and made them captains over thousands and captains over hundreds, according to the houses of their fathers, throughout all Yahuda and Binyamin. And he numbered them from twenty years old and above and found them three hundred thousand choice men, able to go forth to war, that could handle spear and shield. He hired also a hundred thousand mighty men of valor, out of Yasha de El, for a hundred talents of silver. But there came a man of Elohim to him, saying, O king, let not the army of Yasha de El go with you, for Yahuwah is not with Yasha de El to wit with all the children of Ephraim. But if you will go, do it. Be strong for the battle. Elohim shall make you fall before the enemy, for Elohim has power to help and to cast down. And Amatzyahu said to the man of Elohim, But what shall we do for the hundred talents which I have given to the army of Yashadael? And the man of Elohim answered, Yahuwah is able to give you much more than this. Then Amatz Yahu separated them, to wit, the army that was come to him out of Ephraim, to go home again, wherefore their anger was greatly kindled against Yahuda, and they returned home in great anger. And Amatz Yahu strengthened himself, and led forth at his people, and went to the valley of salt, and smote of Eth the children of Seir ten thousand, and other ten thousand left alive did the children of Yahuda carry away captive, and brought them unto the top of the rock, and cast them down from the top of the rock, that they all were broken in pieces. But the soldiers of the army, which Amatz Yahu sent back, that they should not go with him to battle, fell upon the cities of Yahuda, from Shomoron even unto Beit Haran, and smote three thousand of them, and took much spoil. Now it came to pass, after that Amat Yahu was come from the slaughter of Eth the Edomim, that he brought Eth the Elohim of the children of Seir, and set them up to be his Elohim, and bowed down himself before them, and burned incense unto them. Wherefore the anger of Yahuwah was kindled against Amatzyahu, and he sent unto him a prophet, which said unto him, Why have you sought after Eth the Elohai of the people, which could not deliver Eth their own people out of your hand? And it came to pass, as he talked with him, that the king said unto him, Are you made of the king's counsel? Forbear, why should you be smitten? Then the prophet forbear and said, I know that Elohim has determined to destroy you, because you have done this, and have not hearkened unto my counsel. Then Amatz Yahu, king of Yahuda, took advice, and sent to Yoash, the son of Yahu Ahaz, 
the son of Yahu, king of Yashadael, saying, Come, let us see one another in the face. And Yoash, king of Yashadael, sent to Amatyahu, king of Yahudah, saying, The thistle that was in Lebanon sent to the cedar that was in Lebanon, saying, Give eth your daughter to my son to be his woman. And there passed by a wild beast that was in Lebanon, and trod down eth the thistle. You say, Lo, you have smitten eth the Adamim, and your heart lifts you up to boast. Abide now at home. Why should you meddle to your hurt, that you should fall, even you, and Yahudah with you? But Amatyahu would not hear, for it came of Elohim, that he might deliver them into the hand of their enemies, because they sought after at the Elohim of Edom. So Yoash, the king of Yashadael, went up, and they saw one another in the face, both he and Amatyahu, king of Yahudah, at Beit Shemesh, which belongs to Yahudah. And Yahudah was put to the worse before Yashadael, and they fled every man to his tent. And Yoash, the king of Yashadael, took Eth Amatyahu, king of Yahudah, the son of Yoash, the son of Yahu Achaz, at Beit Shemesh, and brought him to Yerushalayim, and broke down the wall of Yerushalayim from the gate of Ephraim to the corner gate, four hundred cubits. And he took all the gold and the silver and eth all the vessels that were found in the house of Elohim with Oved Edom, and eth the treasures of the king's house, eth the hostages also, and returned to Shomoron. And Amatzyahu, the son of Yoash, king of Yahudah, lived after the death of Yoash, son of Yahu Achaz, king of Yashadael, fifteen years. Now the rest of the acts of Amatzyahu, first and last, behold, are they not written in the Sefer of the kings of Yahudah and Yashadael? Now, after the time that Amatzyahu did turn away from the following, rather, from following Yahuwah, they made a conspiracy against him in Yerushalayim, and he fled to Lachish. But they sent to Lachish after him and slew him there. And they brought him upon horses and buried him with his fathers in the city of Yahudah.